All right, let's go into uh, let's do a recap of yesterday, and then we'll uh, we'll get into today's trading. Uh, yesterday was just a real big V V top day all day, uh, all afternoon, all morning. I sent these charts out to you. So it says dual trend filter, red red all afternoon, V tops all the way down. Yellow trigger entry candle qualified the V tops on the retracement with the dual trend filter. So what we're doing, uh, the methodology is that we have two uh, red levels in the room that indicate whether the trend is down or the trend is up. So it gives us the overall bias to be a net seller or a net buyer. So our methodology is a lot different than other methodologies. We are looking to short low and cover lower short low and cover lower, short low and cover lower. If you look at all these oscillators and indicators, what they try to do is if you're trying to trade pivot levels or Fibonacci levels or trying to trade a MAC divergence or what have you, you, they're trying to buy these lows. They're trying to buy these lows, trying to buy these lows. That's where the green candles are, trying to buy this, this little bounce or moving average crossovers or what have you. And then they just eventually get ran over. So the the software is predicated to finding the wrongly positioned uh, volume or traders in the market or algos in the market against overall trends. So we have what's called a dual trend filter. And a dual trend filter simply is just this. We have two parallel run, uh, dots that run next to each other. These parallel dots, uh, that is our trend zone. That has been tested over the last 30 years on the S&P to be the best zone on the S&P to reverse price. So we know that if it's red, we're looking to sell. If it's green, we're looking to buy. Uh, on top of that, our second trend filter, that's our parallel lines here. On the inside of that, um, that's uh, our bar type that we created, our SIM Rinko bar type. So we actually created this uh, software for it called the SIM Rinko. So we, when these two line up, I call them a dual trend filter when the outside zone is red and the inner dots are red, then you have what's called red red or you have ultimate trend down. And what that does, that creates opportunities on retracements. So we, we're not concerned with looking to buy these retracements here, these green retracements because those are counter trend traders or that's where the market's countering overall trend. We're looking to sell the top, what's called a V top. Now we have these yellow triggers that come up, which I call entry candles. And as you want those to turn yellow with trend. So if you are red, zones are dual red, you're waiting for that first yellow trend or, or trigger candle to turn yellow. When that trigger candle turns yellow, that is your entry. So your entry is going to be the close of that candle. Close of the candle and the high of the candle would be your ultimate stop. And some of you traders have it lower than that since this is a 20 Rinko, stop, Rinko candle. So that's a V top. We're not looking at taking these trigger entry candles right here because they're counter against overall trend. Right? We're not taking green all the way up. We're taking red all the way down. So those are what's called V tops. Now, the V tops, if I skinny it down, it started at the trend change up here around 12, 15 in the afternoon, and we had nothing but sells all the way into the close. So you could tell that you had a entry candle at 12.23. 112 entry candle at 332 or 132 entry candle at 142 246 319 and the last entry candle into the close at 345 so those are all v that's called v tops because you would trend now if you look in the early morning on the morning this morning session we had the same thing we had nothing but sells so if you look at cells, these are called V-tops. Same thing. The dual trend filter was red. So the trend change happened here. 
we start trending down at when it, when you have a the trend filter is green 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 we're looking to buy but then when it turned red green against each other that is a chop phase and since that is a chop phase what we're doing is we're looking for the market to roll we're looking for the market to roll to the downside so what we're doing is is as as we turn red red we're looking for the first v top and once we start getting to the v tops we start rolling to the downside and it was v top 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 it's just a v top morning so all the way till we start trend changing um down here at uh, around 11 o'clock in the morning and so from that four o'clock area your bias was down to around 10. now you're going to get these green candles that come up against trend. I mean, green zones against trend. Can you take those? I'm going to show you a way you can stick to your bias. So you can jump right back on trend. If I if I look at this, let me scan this down so you can see a whole trading day. So we look at the whole entire session. Let's get that off there. If we look at the whole entire session which is 1600 would be there. Let me make this a little larger so you guys can see it. If we look at it from 9.30 and on, 9.30 open until 4 o'clock. A lot of you guys trade 9.30 to the 4 o'clock. There's 9.30, here's 4 o'clock. So you can see the trend filter is red all morning, and then it paused a consolidation area, which is natural. That's 11 o'clock. To around what 12 15 turn back red red the, the standard is 11 o'clock to around 12 45 is a dead zone in the market it's that lunch area 11 to around 12 45 they start picking things back up you can see the algo start kicking in around 12 50 the volume starts picking up but if your big trend is down we don't even need to look at this at these green against overall big trend i'll show you a big trend and how we can look at that but you can tell the v tops one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13. we had 14 v tops during the morning session 9 30 11 and the afternoon session 12 15 to the close so these are all v top trades so if your dual trend footer turns green against overall big trend you can just wait till we go back red red again and what I mean by that, the big trend filter, if you look at the top here, I have this in the top up there. We were red all session. So the long-term trend was down all day on a long-term trend chart in the live room, nothing but V tops and Momo shorts. The bias is short all day. So if you see this is a longer Rinko size, this is where they catch the amateur traders or they catch the counter trend traders or rolling position traders when you see these big blips in price these are liquidity grabs where the markets grab in liquidity to catch all the rolling position traders and then it closes right back red to continue trend so we know that in the room by watching when this is red or green so it helps you out with entering v tops or v bottoms if your bias up or down now the rule of thumb is this, if it if you see these yellow dots on top of price all the way down, that's hard trend down. So if you're looking, if a, you get a V top in where this long term, because th these are trailing dots. So if they are yellow, which they were all day yesterday, then you got speed in the V tops. There's speed in the market, right? So if it's red and with the yellow dots on top, I told you this market is into a major push to the downside, which it was all day yesterday. But the rule of thumb, if it's red, red, I mean, if it's red, it's a longer Rinko chart, the bias is down all day. If it was up, you can see your bias is down, then your bias was up. Your bias was up all morning until around 12 or 2.30 in the afternoon, so you were net buyers all the way up. So you want to look for V bottoms, V bottoms, V bottoms, because what you're doing is these little spikes down are what's called liquidity grabs. The smart money is grabbing liquidity 
closing it back green and bringing it hard up. Grabbing liquidity from all the counter trend traders, all these oscillators that's telling you to buy, that counter trend trade the market, and they bring it back up. And so then it closes red. Now your bias is down. They're grabbing liquidity to the upside, and they bring it down. So this is a good way for you to judge your bias on the overall market. If we look at right now, they're trying to grab more liquidity. Until this closes green, when we close green, we can switch our bias. But right now, we're looking for net B tops again this morning until we switch our bias and Momo shorts. So that's a good way to do it on the long-term chart for you guys to do it.